firemen rush to the fire and there are some people in the house. A fireman comes, puts out a fire, you see him putting out the fire, you know what's going on. Then he goes over to the people and they are so grateful. Oh, you saved my life, you pulled me from the burning fire. Epidemiologists are a little different than firemen. We are like X-Men or the superheroes. Cuando algo surge una emergencia y nadie sabe qué hacer, son los epidemiólogos los que tienen que acudir y tienen que ir al campo investigar y meterse en todos los riesgos. If we're successful in our jobs, people don't get sick. So they don't see that happening. And so it's a little difficult uh, to make a pitch to the end user because if we're doing our job, they're well. Fireman prevent fires. Epidemiology prevent epidemic. But in both cases, we save as many lives as possible. Me ha tocado a medianoche salir a alta mar a ocho millas náuticas a subirme a transatlánticos, esos barcos grandes, para ver, examinar unos marineros que venían con influenza para ver si esa autorizaba el ingreso del barco al país o no. So people don't get a chance to recognize the role of the epidemiologist because the epidemiologist is really focused on prevention. We chose to be public health practitioners. And having chosen that, one should not be able to sleep at night if you didn't save at least one life. Our goal is to save lives, but not one life, hundreds or thousands of lives. Esas son las cosas que nadie va a salir a hacer, ni un médico común y corriente, sino que un epidemiólogo. Le travail de l'épidémiologiste est un travail qui vraiment finalement consiste à contribuer à sauver des vies. Modern public health, we're now dealing with problems which usually are quite large and oftentimes they're regional or global in scope. You see it from that perspective, you begin to see that the response also has to be global or regional in scope. If we're going to make progress on the big global health problems, we have to be able to collaborate effectively with other organizations. Definet puede ser un núcleo que puede garantizar esta colaboración entre los programas. Lo que queremos es que TEFINE sea un lugar donde se pueda garantizar a la comunidad científica que esa eh, legión de héroes que trabajan por la epidemiología e intervención están preparados, calificados y con estándares muy similares en cualquier parte del mundo. TEFINET es un muy importante partner para nosotros. Hemos trabajado muy cerca con ellos en apoyo de los epidemiología de training programas de apoyo, um, ambos los que nos apoyan as well as the larger community of FETPs, as we call them. The FETP is a two-year postgraduate fellowship for uh, professionals, adults, who are already working in public health and who've made a decision to, uh, to increase their competence and their skill. It's actually a program to assist us in the country to build capacity for health care workers. Through TEFINET, we can uh, develop our strong, re strong network with the other programs. Through that network, we can communicate directly with the FETP people in different countries. It is an organization of other FETPs. We can call on the expertise of the other programs at any given time. So this partnership between TEFNET and the programs, is, I think, is, is a key uh, component of this global network for emergency response and improve the surveillance. TEFNET provides that forum of sharing our stories. TEFNET is supporting the integration between these countries and the capacity of response, if they are not integrated, I'm pretty sure that it will cost a lot of lives. Con cholera ahora, por ejemplo, en, en República Dominicana, rápidamente se hizo intercambio con otros países. Se sabe que va a llegar a los otros países. Entonces, se invita a los directores de epidemiología de los otros países a hacer una pasantía, una visita de una semana y ver en el terreno cómo es, cómo se está trabajando, cómo elaborar las normas, cómo hacer para que todos ellos estén preparados. They have about 50 member programs. They probably speak 15 different languages. And yet, despite differences in size, difference in the programs and the problems that they have in their countries, they work together and they've been able to effectively collaborate. Entonces, sí, definitely, ahí permite el intercambio de esa información, el intercambio de personal, el que vayan de un lado a otro para aprender de lo que están haciendo. Esas son funciones que, que son muy valiosas. Uh, one of our 
mantra is uh, building relationships rather than just sharing best practices. Cada uno tiene un background, digamos, una formación distinta, entonces eh, ven las cosas desde un punto de vista distinto. Because only if we build relationships, it's when collaboration actually happens. A call to a colleague or a referral from a colleague would get us the results that otherwise we wouldn't be able to get. There is just this very constructive, creative spirit. And once you are in, in such a network, that is almost contagious and it, uh, it energizes for sure. Es un trabajo muy rico en el sentido que uno aprende mucho también de ellos. When they work closely together, they can share materials, share experiences, they get to know each other. We've seen a lot more emphasis on cross-border collaboration. It's difficult because you need to manage the two sides of the border when you have outbreak. And it, each country don't have the authority to do their things in the other side. And Tefinet is in a good position as a neutral, non-governmental uh, organization. It's in a good position to to deal with many different partners on sensitive issues. And we bring trainees from the different countries. They could learn about the other health system, they could learn how works the other country, and they could do activities in the both sides of the border. So what we noticed through the years is that the network became more than a training network. It became a network where people actually had the ambition to improve themselves and to work towards a higher level of excellence. So if you graduate from a TEFINET program, People around the world in the public health community will know that you have certain abilities and skills. You can really trust that a person who has graduated from an FETP, you can send them independently to the field to answer some questions. And I think for a country that is a very reliable basis. Graduate, especially from the short courses, contributed a lot in uh, fighting against those epidemics. If we have an epidemiologist in each of the governance and at the main national programs, that can utilize data, that can present data to policy makers, that can impact change, we would have succeeded. So we have created a very skilled workforce within the ministry and we expect that upon some years to come, we will have more at different key positions. One of the, the primary goals that we're after is really to help particularly low and middle income countries achieve the capacity and the ability to handle the, their problems on their own. It's on the terms of the program. It's not top down, it's bottom up. Programs that are sustained are very, very independent. The impact of epidemiology is great because it is population based. You're, you know, whatever intervention you have, it affects thousands of, and millions of people. So that gives you the motivation to continue to do your work and to try as much as possible to put in your best. They talk of a shrinking world, a global village, and so sitting in our corner of the globe and thinking that you are able to handle everything would definitely be inaccurate. Unless you give someone the tools and the skills to do the work, then they're really not going to be able to do the work. And that's what TEFNET has been able to support through CDC and through the experts that they are providing. And we've seen remarkable changes in some countries in a very short time where uh, when we start there is sometimes very little national capacity and within a few years um, country staff, uh, indigenous country staff, really are doing the bulk of the work and, and don't have to call on our supervisors at all. Moi j'apprends de l'autre programme, l'autre programme apprend de moi et ça c'est vraiment une richesse extraordinaire. Et Tefinet, il joue un rôle, il doit jouer un rôle extrêmement important. As a, a community of, of programs and public health practitioners, uh, come up with solutions that work. Tefinet tries to foster the teachers who will be the mentors for the next generation of unsung heroes. Tefinet es una gran familia de epidemiólogos graduados y entrenados que luchan por el perfeccionamiento de la salud pública a nivel mundial. We look at TEFINET as providing the standard wherein all of us should try to reach. Actually, when we get to that standard, it's not for the good of TEFINET, but for the good of our country.